oh my god hey pookie bears um crazy how i'm not only posting sketch work tours isn't that insane i'm actually like doing something different um <laughs> uh i don't need i think okay this isn't i don't know I, was, <laughs> I have the most conversational skills ever um also the wind is pissing me off but i think yeah what i was gonna say is i used to okay so before my tiktok got deleted which was fucking badass um if you don't know about that my new account it, it says precations on the side uh that's just because i'm way too lazy to change it uh it's precations underscore two but if you just search it up it'll be like the first result um but my account got deleted at the end of august or some shit it was right before school and i was like that is so awesome what a great way to start out um but <laughs> um no i used to post like at the end of the year like do you hear my goddamn brother good god i used to post at the end of the year like um digital month uh, digital art throughout the year and i would post like january february march april you know so it would always make at least one digital piece or i would select my favorite piece from that month and i would put it up there and then when i got deleted i was like huh i don't need to do that anymore so i haven't made a digital piece since august i've worked digitally but it's just i haven't finished anything so that's pretty cool um but yeah this is my first piece back uh it was a traditional sketch i did it at school i was bored and okay if if you watch my instagram lives which i don't really like going instagram going on instagram live anymore i get so bored so easily for absolutely no goddamn reason it's no one's fault it's my it's it's my brain i just like after like 10 minutes i'm like hmm i wish i didn't go live <laughs> and usually something funny happens but like when it doesn't when something funny doesn't happen i'm like i am gonna kill myself but usually it's my fault that i like it's so fucking boring but like whatever um but no on live anytime be after like after chainsaw man's um Blah, 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 blah. anime came out i anytime anybody asked about chainsaw man i was like fuck that i hate that it's so overrated it's such a shit series it's so bad i hate it okay um then uh what's this yeah what's this um so, <laughs> so the reason i i will explain this because i was gonna m make a post on instagram and i was like no that's cringe even though everything i do is cringe but um so I've been like a hardcore, not hater, but um, yeah, hater is a good word uh, <laughs> for Chainsaw Man because I think it's, I I used to, let me correct myself. I used to think it was shitty. I used to think it was overrated, but I think I was just wrong <laughs> um, because I read it when I was 14 and it was like late 2020 and I was going into 2021 and I was like, it literally so bad like i i liked it i enjoyed it but i didn't understand why people like like were obsessed with it and so over progressively because i never really reread it or anything i progressively for the past two years i've just like been having that mind mind uh, like been thinking the same way that i'm like it's overrated there's no point to it it's dumb it's stupid fuck that i was just dumb <laughs> like my critical thinking skills and my like my in-depth analysis on series was just so subpar to the point where i was so fucking dumb i'm i like looking back now i was the dumbest bitch ever like i'm so stupid anyways chainsaw man is good <laughs> but i decided to um to finally catch up on it i haven't watched the newest two episodes i know what happens obviously i'm just watching it dubbed because like i don't know i like having stuff on in the background and I'm, I don't have, like, time to just, like, sit down and watch something. I mean, I do. I just, yeah, you know, I, I get, once again, I get bored easily. But, um, and also, if I were to watch, like, because I really want to watch the next episode, even though the next episode hasn't come out. It, I'm on episode eight. Um, the barf scene. Is it, it, is it episode eight? Maybe. I don't know. The one with the Himeno barf scene. Um, but I, I know because i want to watch the next episode i know if i watch the sub no sub one i i like the sub episode i will get <laughs> like i will watch 
the episode in dub next time and i'm gonna be so disappointed be like this dub is literally ass it is so bad and i know it's gonna happen because it, i'm always like that so i'm not i'm not doing that i'm i'm restraining myself <laughs> I have been watching Blue Lock as well. It, I'm only on episode seven because the sub hasn't come out or the dub hasn't come out for episode eight, but I'm very excited because I read about 20-ish chapters in like 2020 because I was bored while I was waiting for my brother at the dentist's office. I don't know why that's so like fundamental to the story, but I feel like it is. I was just really bored waiting for the dentist's like office, my brother to get over with. So I was like, I'm going to read it. And I read most of it. I sat down and read all that in one sitting and then didn't touch it again. <laughs> but my favorite character was Bachata, of course, because I love kooky little insane twink boys. They're my favorite. It's it's a given. They're going to be my favorite. But I also like uh, Chigiri a lot because pretty men and reddish pinkish hair, you know, you know how I feel like, dude, <laughs> I, I still I still believe I, I, I love Bachata and Chigiri a lot. However, comma, the white haired guy that just got introduced, I don't know his name. He's very meow. The purple haired guy, meow. And then there's one that looks like he looks like if Bakugo was a ginger. And I hate saying that because it's so fucking annoying. Um But he like he's like there was a, there was a I think it was an extra at the end when it was like, you know how they get like food depending on their rank and like um the main guy and his like friend the bald-headed connie ass looking bitch were like let's trade you i'll give you my auto and like my pickled radish for your curry or whatever it was and he's like oh sweet there was something about that scene that like struck a nerve with me because he is like i thought he was i thought he was gonna be like loud annoying piece of shit i cannot stand and he's like a good person and i'm like chilling with that i love that so much that makes me happy oh my god speaking of good people that look scary can we talk about um the fragrant the fragrant flowers bloom with dignity <gasps> the confession scene dude when i tell you i thought that would that would take years to get to and they just like pulled it out right out of their ass at like chapter 41 what dude that shit happened so fast and i was i'm digging it i really like okay slow burn is like fine and all but like i ate that shit up like i love that oh my god it was so good i love rintaro and i love the girl i don't know her name oh i just totally forgot it but i learned also rintaro's dad is so hot oh his mom is hot too as well oh my god we're not even gonna get into that um what else what else is there i don't really have anything else i will do a draw with me video eventually i don't know oh dude i have so much homework after school i don't after school i didn't even go to school today because i was like mm, uh, i don't want to present my project and sit through a class of people who are also presenting not the same project but the same project you know what i mean um and i'm gonna be bored out of my mind it's so all I'll, I'll just do it for one day because we're doing it two days in a row which is bullshit but whatever um but, so i didn't even go to school today but i have so much fucking homework my teacher my english teacher is insane i love her on occasion but sometimes i'm like wow you really just fucking suck um but uh, i have to read five chapters of this goddamn book that sucks literal balls um and i just i literally just got my book in the mail i just got one of my i've been i've been wanting this book for like literally a month because i've been like debating whether or not to get it and i got it and it's uh the anatomy of melancholy by like I don't even know. I don't know the author's name, but it's literally so old. I can't understand any of it. It is literally four inches thick and I'm so intrigued by it. And I'm going to do like a, like a, like a double annotation with my friend. She is like the most, uh, she's so like, I don't want to say aesthetically pleasing, but the most aesthetically pleasing person I've ever fucking met. She's like into just like old timey English. Like her favorite movie is, um, what's, what is it? um the the fantastic mr fox she loves all this shit she's so meow she's so interesting and i like every time i have a conversation with her i feel intelligent vicariously through her she makes me feel smart 
but I think I'm gonna give it to her as a Christmas present because I fucking didn't know that she got me a Christmas present and my friend told me that so fuck me because I thought we weren't getting each other for Christmas presents. But whatever I still have to do a bunch of Christmas shopping I got most of it done I just need to do like four presents but whatever I hate Christmas shopping because I'm so fucking bad at it anyways this is the end uh, I hope you enjoy the final piece will be on instagram but go drink some water have a wonderful rest of your day slash night slash evening slash that slash blah, 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 blah. and i love you bye